Even the smallest design issue on a single component can impact the entire system. It can also help address one of the biggest challenges Fama water distribution loops can have, ruching. Ruching is red-brown iron oxide or iron hydroxide particles that form when the passivation layer on the stainless steel surfaces breaks down. Ruching is seldom seen in the place it originated. It is usually found in the turbulent areas where the particles collide with surfaces such as in circulation pumps, bends and tees, or inside the tanks where a spray ball throws the particles against the tank wall. Iron oxides are not necessarily harmful to humans. However, because they are insoluble in our bloodstreams, iron oxides will cause blockage of our veins and arteries if injected into our bloodstream. A surface covered in ruching is also a prime area for biofilm buildup. Rouge particles on PTFE diaphragms also make it difficult to provide proper sealing between the diaphragm and the weir. We therefore recommend taking measures to prevent rouge formation in all pharmaceutical water systems and to have a filter in the use points when using water for injection for injectable medicines. Rouging also occurs on the pump impeller tips. The flow velocity across the steel surface of the impeller tips is very high and contributes to the risk of erosion of the passivation layer. Choosing the Alpha Laval LKH Ultra Pure Pump, which has a low delta ferrite impeller, reduces the risk of erosion. This secures the passivation layer on the impeller tips, which will prevent rouge formation. Welds are prime areas for rouging. That's true of many welds in shell and tube heat exchangers. Improper welding procedures lead to weak passivation layers. In Alpha Laval Pharma line heat exchangers, all welders are well trained and all welds are performed correctly according to standard operating procedures and well documented with detailed weld logs. This is how we secure high quality welding to prevent rouge formation in our heat exchangers. Ensuring that the contact surfaces have strong passivation layers is probably one of the best ways to prevent ruching. A passivation layer cannot be formed if there is debris such as that found in poorly polished and poorly cleaned equipment. This is especially important to keep in mind for tubes and fittings, which typically covers up to 90% of all the product contact surfaces in a water system. Be sure that your equipment is properly polished and thoroughly cleaned to prevent polishing rests clinging to the surfaces. Ruching is also typically found on the inside of tank walls due to the repetitive high velocity stream of static spray ball jets against the same area. This eventually causes the erosion of the passivation layer. What's more, the spray ball itself is subject to erosion where the high velocity jets of water through its holes are subjected to erosion of the spray ball's passivation layer. The solution? Replace the static spray ball with a rotating spray head, which uniformly distributes the water against tank wall surfaces at a much lower velocity, thereby preventing the erosion of the passivation layer. Spray balls made of non-metallic material also help prevent ruching formation and subsequent spray ball erosion. Made of high-quality peak thermoplastic polymer, the Alpha Laval Sani Midget SB rotating spray head helps you solve these ruching issues, while providing faster cleaning times. This is one example of how selecting the right hygienic equipment helps you minimize ruching in your pharmaceutical water systems, as well as reducing your energy and maintenance costs. <laughs>